we are scared of each other, we cannot love. The people that want refugees and the people that want war and the people that want suffering, I don't think there are many. But if there are a few, they are very organized. That's why we started Love Army. We think it is time for the people that want love and for the people that want a world in peace. The way we've been using the money, we've been implementing ourselves on the ground uh, in Somalia and in uh, Bangladesh with the Rohingya refugees. We've been teaming up with um, local uh, small initiatives, small charities. We've been focusing on hiring the people, hiring Somalis, hiring Rohingya refugees. Instead of coming ourselves, doing the job ourselves, like it's a little bit the, the classical humanitarian system. This new system works very well, it's empowering, it's not uh, taking away from, from those people. To get to the roots, it's gonna take all of us to start doing actions, small actions, around where we are. Because those small actions, they can change the world. And when you change the life of one person, you change the world. And sometimes it doesn't need, you don't need millions of dollars to do this. You just need your time. This is what can change the world. If people like you, like young people around the world, anyone, start doing small actions like this, start fixing the small problems that start with two women insulting each other because of a hijab. If we do that, then we stop the corrupted media from dividing us and from fragmenting us and we become strong and we can recreate a new world. So this is the future for Love Army. We are going to try to give a platform for all the people that want to create small actions. We're gonna help them to find funding, uh, to find awareness so that those type of actions can happen at big scale and every day.